Today in the kitchen we're making a Dijon crunchy flounder. It is a really quick and easy recipe and you're going to add some great flavor as well as this great crunch on the outside. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our fillets um, our flounder fillets and you can see they're nice and beautiful so we're ready to go. You can use any type of mild white fish that you might have or that you like as well. So this is a great recipe, it's really versatile so you can just kind of adapt it to whatever you and your family like. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our flounders and fillets and we're going to coat it with a mixture of Dijon whole grain um, mustard and that'll give it some nice mouth appeal inside. It's going to be a little bit crunchier and it's going to have a nice hearty flavor. And then I decided it was a little too thick so I added some um, horseradish, whoops, Dijon mustard that I had as well to thin it out just a little bit and it'll add uh, some additional flavor as well. So and then I'm going to take my pastry brush and I just kind of mix that all together to thin that out. And then we're just going to spread it on our fi fillets. And I'm going to coat both sides. So we're just going to give it a nice healthy coat on one side, we'll turn it over and do it on the other. So this is going to be a nice hidden treasure inside your fillets. So then we're going to take our, our um, chicken bake and we're going to, this is going to be something we're going to do in the oven. So you want to go ahead and preheat your oven while you're doing this to about 400 degrees and line your baking sheet because I always like to line mine with some foil because that way it's easier to clean up. So now that we have our um, breading out on the out on our plate or on our wax paper, we're going to take our Dijon coated sides and we're going to place those onto our breader. Then I'm going to coat the other side with um, our mustard. You can see all those great grains in there. So this is going to be really yummy. And then what I do is I just kind of fold my wax paper over it and press it down into my fish. That way I know that it's coated well and um, it's all going to stick and be really yummy. And then I flip it over and make sure the other side is coated as well. Then I give it a little shake. And then I place it onto my baking sheet that um, I've covered with foil. We're going to do one more. This is a real big technique. Um, this is such a pretty piece of fish. Um, press it in. Then we're going to bake this at 400 degrees for about... 12 minutes just until it's nice and cooked throughout. You don't want to cook it too long because you don't want them to dry out. So there you go. We're going to bake this at 400 degrees for about 12 minutes and then you're ready to go. And I, um, as you can see, it's nice and crunchy looking. Um, you're going to have this great fluffy filet in the middle. It's going to be so great. You're going to love it. It's going to have some great flavor, some crunch on the outside. Then I just served it with some steamed asparagus. It's a great meal, quick and easy for you when you come home from work or if you're really super busy, it's just a great quick and easy meal. So I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you next time here on Simple Cooking.